Hello Aquarius. This is a reading to see who this person is that is encompassing you with their energy. Let's see. We're going to start with some Romance Angels cards for you guys. <clears throat> see what message we get before we actually pull uh, the tarot. Forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. Clearing your energy, making amends, accepting people for who they are and their mistakes. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Accepting people for who they are. And basically just kind of managing, you know, expectations, you know, because people are different for sure. Trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Trust that you're doing the right thing. Trust that you're on the path that, that you're supposed to be on here. What is happening is what is meant to happen. Okay? And soulmate. Flipped out. Biggest day. Yes. This is your soulmate. If you guys had a question about that, there it is. Okay? Yes, they are. Who is this person that is significant to Aquarius? Who is this person? Hmm, two of Pentacles. Somebody that's juggling a lot. And they have a hard time prioritizing. Maybe you guys are so sure of what it is that you want and and who you want but I feel like this person made you feel like or makes you feel like they're not sure they weren't sure about you made you feel some kind of way Capricorn energy you felt they were being very selfish they were all about themselves Knight of Swords they basically, the way they talk, the way they communicate with you, lets you know that they are all about themselves. That's the way it makes you feel. And you're constantly trying to get your point across to this person, trying to get them to see things from your point of view. And it's hard. Could be another Aquarius like you guys here on the cusp with Capricorn. Ace of Wands. Hmm. They're still carrying a torch for you. They want to start over. This fire energy. But they don't know how to. Because I feel like trust was broken. Like you, you don't believe them. Maybe they told you that they would change or they would try to change and then nothing ever changed. They did nothing different time and time again. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles on the other side. Not, not a confident person. They may have come across to you like they were confident, but uh, no. Very dependent versus independent. And you have encountered your soulmate. But this person does not have a lot of confidence. Even if you felt like they did, they don't. They're struggling. They're struggling with who they are. This person. They're not confident at all. The magician's there. Gemini energy. Could definitely be a Virgo. That is significant for you guys too. The mercurial energy. 
where they talk a good game and they make you feel like they can conquer the world, they can do anything. It looks from the outside like they have it all together, but they really don't have it all together. Um, they have the potential to, though. Because they have that very um, mercurial, magician energy. Uh, they have the communication when they're when they're functioning out of their higher selves. They have the potential to really make some shit happen. And the Knave of Swords, again, that air energy. I feel like either. Either they're looking at um, ways to communicate with you, uh, trying to fill you out, trying to see if if there's a potential for you guys right now. I feel like they are. There's something, um, and maybe you guys have had a conversation with this person. But if you have, it's been very surface level, I feel. Because I'm feeling like um, you guys don't want to invest because of how things went before in the past. Seven of Wands, there, that Leo energy. It's a lot of fixed energy. Here. You guys made butt heads because both of you are strong. Both of you have your um, varying points of view and you stand by that. And it's hard to like compromise with them. It's hard to get anywhere with them because both of you are standing um, so solidly in what you believe and willing to defend that at all costs, you know. But they definitely want to make an amends with you. They definitely want to do that. And the Two of Wands comes here. Aries, Leo, energy. Um, they definitely want to continue with you. With the Two of Wands and the Seven of Wands. The struggle is real. Because they can't figure out how to, um, to get there. They don't even know if you'd be willing. Because they know how strong you are as well. Just like you feel like, um, you know, they won't listen to reason. They feel the same way. Like, it's not going to change because we've never been able to really get on the same accord before. So they feel like you're going to be very strong will and, and buck against whatever it is that they suggest. There's something with a lack of trust here. Not trusting at all. <clears throat> Six of Cups. That's your soulmate. This person is your soulmate. Scorpio energy. I felt this very fixed energy. And, um, you know, sometimes Aries can come across um, as fixed energy too. Because that emperor energy, that non-budging energy, I'm right. Um, look at me. You know, listen to what I say. That type of energy. They can come across like that sometimes. And um, so Aries, Leo, Scorpio. I feel Virgo, Capricorn is here as well. Let's see what they really want with you guys. But this is your soulmate. This person wants to reconcile. They want to make amends. Um, they're not confident though. I feel like they're they're waiting on you to give them like an okay or something. <clears throat> what they want? Dogs getting together. They want to get together. They want to get together. They want to get along. They want loyalty from you. They want um, acknowledgement from you guys here. And period of frustration, lessons to be learned. 
they're waiting on you and they're hoping that um, whatever signs or whatever they feel like you guys should be picking up on you're not or either you you see the signs and you just like I'm not falling for this and that's really frustrating them they want to get past something they want you to see your ways as well they want you to reach out to them and propose something a date dinner talk get together they really want you to reach out to them it's what I'm getting here Because they really want to be able to move forward with you guys, okay? So, that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.